ask my friends to come and see My octopus is coming with me I like to be uh, under the sea In an octopus's garden in the shade Hey everyone, welcome to MT Guitar. Today we're doing Octopus's Garden by the Beatles. This was Ringo's, uh, arguably his best song while with the Beatles. And one of his only songs, he didn't write that many during this time. Um, this appeared on Abbey Road, uh, but there is a famous scene in the Get Back documentary as well as the Let It Be movie that released in 1970, where George Harrison is helping Ringo with this song. And uh, it's just a beautiful scene. Um, of course, John and Paul have the, the famous songwriting duo, but uh, George and Ringo had this, this really precious moment in the Get Back film, which I highly recommend watching. And um, Ringo says this was inspired from being on a boat, uh, Peter Sellers' boat. Uh, he was soon to be acting with uh, Peter Sellers and the Magic Christian around the Let It Be album time. So while on the boat, the ship captain explained to Ringo how uh, how an octopus would take rocks and other objects and create gardens with it. And uh, that really intrigued Ringo. And um, so uh, this is just such a, a fun, playful song. Uh, and so that brings us to another point that Ringo actually, this was sort of an escape for Ringo. He, he kind of wanted to escape from the Beatles at some points because they were having issues from the White Album on. And uh, they were having issues during the Let It Be documentary as well. So George had some really wonderful lead guitar lines on this on this album. He was really, George was really growing as a lead guitar player uh, in the later phase of the Beatles. Uh, so we have this wonderful intro here. <laughs> uh, and it's just an excellent example of E major pentatonic. And the chords are one, six, four, five, which I've talked about a lot and, and will continue to talk about. It's just so prevalent in popular music. Um, the solo is really cool because it goes to A major. We modulate into a different key. And so, you know, uh, so we modulate to, to A major and George is playing a lot of A major pentatonic. So, you know, um, George is just a wonderful soloist when it comes to major, and we don't see that a lot with, with rock. Um, we see a lot of minor pentatonic, of course, but, but this is a great time to, to dig into some more major pentatonic riffs. So we'll cover that note for note. There'll be a tab for this uh, on the Patreon with all the notes written out. Check that out if you will. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell icon, and the thumbs up. And let's jump on in. All right, so... Um, we're in the key V. We're going to start with the intro. Okay, so um, we're going to do 9th to 11th fret hammer on. And think about E major pentatonic. If you're aware of that scale, it's really nice to know how to slide from the 2 to the 3. Okay, those are scale degrees there. So. Sometimes the theory can help us when we're learning a, a solo. Well, all the times it can help us, but... So if you know that scale, that would be a good, a good thing to remember here. So, 9 to 11 hammer on. That's the 5 to the 6. Now, 9 to 11 hammer on again. And then 11 to 13 slide. That's the 2nd to 3rd scale degree. Now, uh... 12 to 14 hammer on pull off. I do middle to pinky. Sometimes I, I do ring, uh, index to ring, depends. If I'm going higher, you know, I might do that. But since I'm going back down, I'm 
I'm doing middle to pinky. I love using my pinky, not everyone does, so it's up to you. So, so far we have. And then uh, 13 to 11 slide, and then nine, and then 11 full note bend. And you bend, and you mute as it, as you finish the bend. So the whole thing would be. Okay, one more time, slower. Classic major pentatonic riff. Okay, moving on, next phrase. It starts the same way, and then this time we go 12th fret first string, there's the root, then 14 to 12th pull off, then 13 to 11 slide, and then 9. So, so far that second phrase is, now we're going to do some thirds, right? Uh, so that would be 11 and 10. And then up a half step, up a fret, and then up a fret again. Okay. So that second phrase is. Okay, good. Okay, so after, we're going to do a little riff here. I'll just play it first. So after, 14th fret, 13 to 11 slide. Da, 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 twice, 13, uh, 11 to 9 hand, pull off, 11 to 9 pull off on the 4th string, and then 11 to 9 slide on the 5th string, and then 7th fret twice, and then 9 to 7 pull off, and then 9, 7, 7, 5th string, or 6th string. So that's a lot, so that would be nice and slow. So let's do the whole thing, nice and slow. Ready? Bend. Up we go. All right, nice. All right, so this guitar part's really nice. It's, uh, I went ahead and added some bass notes. So I'll show you just the straight studio part first. It would just be the first four strings only. And that's a studio technique when you take out the bass of an electric guitar. You, you don't play the bass strings on purpose to kind of set a frequency for that guitar. And the piano and bass are filling in the, uh, the lower frequencies. So we'll start with that. We're going to do first four strings of an E chord. And you strum down. And then the pattern is. Okay. So that would be strum, fourth, third, second. Sometimes he plays the fourth string after that to keep the time kind of thing. Sometimes he doesn't, so sometimes it's just... Might be nice to start without the fourth string after that, so... Down, fourth, third, second, down, fourth, third, second. The variation would be down, fourth, third, second, fourth, down, fourth, third, second, fourth. Either one. Now C sharp minor. Uh, uh, the whole bar chord here, down, four, third, second, down, four, third, second, and then A, first four strings, just the first four strings for now, the studio part, down, four, third, second, down, four, third, second, and then up two frets for a B, same thing. And like I said, you can add that fourth string after the pattern. He does it about 30% of the time. Um, now, what I did on the demo would be just adding the bass, right? You might as well. Uh, is, if you're not playing with, with piano and bass, there's really no need to just stick to the first four strings only. You can, but you can also just do the whole chord like this. And then on the A chord, you can either do a bar chord or the fifth string open. B bar chord. Sound like that. Okay. 
Okay, good. That takes us to the bridge. Da, da, da. Uh, so that would be C sharp minor. Now the guitar just holds it out. Ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba, da. It actually stays on C sharp minor until A. Da, 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 da. And then, so that's an A chord, and then four down strums on a B. And then two more. Okay, and notice I'm muting after the first four and then the two. So one, two, three, four, one, two. So that would be ba -da -ba, just let it ring out. Ba -ba -da, down, down, A. Da -da, ring out. Four down, out, out, one, two. And that takes us to the chorus, which is actually what we've already covered. But you're welcome to add the piano. As you know, uh, I like to, to you know, I like to get as much going on as I can from the other instruments. So when it's C sharp minor, instead of ringing, letting it ring out, you could da, 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 mimic the, the honky tonk piano that I, probably Paul is playing. I haven't actually researched that, but um, it would just be, it could be George Martin, probably not. So uh, C sharp minor, da, da, down, 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 down. You could just down on the first three strings. Okay. Da, da, da. Eighth note pulse, and then go to B, which the piano and bass are doing, and then A, again down, down, down. Okay. So you could add the piano there. Then it just goes to the chorus again, which you already covered. The only difference is he goes A straight to B, E. Okay. Then we have another verse and chorus. And uh, after the second chorus, we have the solo. So, octopus's garden in the shade. Okay, so let's cover that now. So, a little pickup note here, two to three slide. Two to three meaning the scale degrees. It's 16 to 18th fret, fourth string. And then uh, 16th fret, third string. Okay, now we're in A. So. Here's your root, right? Very important to know your roots. So there's your root, 14th fret, third string. And the first, so after this, he goes, 16th fret, full note bend, 14th fret, first string, unbend. Okay, so unbend 14 twice. And then four, uh, 16 to 18 slide, and then quick 15, three times. And he repeats that. Okay, so, so far. And then just time for twice on the ends. So, so far nice and slow, that would be. Okay, now, way up here, <laughs> uh, let's see. 19th fret, full note bend. And then to, to 17. And then another bend. So that would be full note bend, 17 twice. Uh, and then another 19 full note bend, 17 twice. And then second string, 19. Refinger it to the pinky. And then full note bend and then unbend. Land on the 14th fret, third string. So. Okay. Then we have 14 to 16 hammer, and then 14th fret, third string. And then another, you know, nice little country riff here. 16 full note bend to 14th fret, first string. Unbend, and then to 14. So, so far, let's just cover everything so far. Uh. And then 16, and then slide up to 18. Again, this riff, so that's slide three times on the second string, three, uh, a third time, uh, and then Final riff here, uh, 19th fret, full note bend, twice, 
unbend to 17, and then again, and then 19, 17, and then you're done. So the whole solo would be, ready, three, uh. It's a B chord into the third verse. Okay, and third verse and chorus. The only difference is at the end of the third chorus. Uh, in an octopus is God in, in the shade C sharp minor. Okay. And uh, George does a few riffs here. And then it re repeats. Shot in. And then it goes C sharp minor pentatonic. That's 14, right? And then finally, third time. And then uh, it ends on E, and then George does. Ends right there. So, check out the tab on the Patreon if, if you need. But I think that should be pretty clear. And uh, enjoy this. This is a lot of fun. Remember to relax, be loose on this, um, and enjoy. Have a good one. All right, well done, everybody. A nice Beatles song to learn. Go ahead, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and looking forward to seeing you next lesson. Bye.